Alright people, a quick video to show you some things about all pro football, why I love this game, why I prefer to play this game more than any EA sports game, well football game. Alright, for people that don't understand, you see that guy just made a play on this ball, this guy he has him by size, speed, but the generic weights and takes a better angle to the ball. So it's about your positioning on this game. And you see right here, it's a wobbly ball, receiver catches the ball. And the reason why the ball is wobbling like this is because the quarterback was getting hit by the D lineman. And watch how the ball bounces off the guy's hands. He tracks it with his head. He follows it all the way to the other side of his body. Catches the ball. Gets one foot down and bounds. And the coach is just like, all right, good play. But no, that's not a catch. That's not a catch. And here again, the same play. Watch how the D line gets pressure on the quarterback. The quarterback can't step into the throw like he really wants to, so that affects the ball. And and this, I say, this is what we like about this game. Everything is, and on a football play, everything matters. Everything matters. And look how he's trying to look the ball in. Boom. And a lot of times this happens when you're trying to catch the ball close to the sideline. You lose concentration because you try to keep your feet in. All right, here we go. This is, I'm going to show y'all some stuff I noticed uh, about the power up. And right here, just my guy just has the ability. And see, again, look at this block. Look how my guy steps over. He affects the running back. Even though he didn't make the play, he still affected the play. But you see this circle around my guy, that yellow outside circle? When you get that yellow outside circle around your guy, you, that's called, I call that powering up. And you see how my the defender is caught inside that circle? He's inside my power zone. And if you power up, as a, especially as a goal, anything close to your power zone, you're going to have a higher success of either making a tackle, making a, a catch, uh, interception, or, or breaking a tackle, or blocking somebody. Like, if you power up and you get in who's ever inside of your little circle, you see how, how this circle expands out. And there's two rings inside this circle. It's the outer ring and the inner ring. If you're caught, especially inside that that little two ring loose thing, right? If you're inside the outer ring and the inner ring, most times the move that I do on you will work. So a lot of guys that don't really understand how to make moves and how to make your guy do some stuff you want him to do, you have to power up. And there's a different kind of power up. Now this right here is an animation I think that just kicks in along the sideline because I ran people over with generics on the sideline and I think this is just an animation that, that triggers on this sideline over here. Now you notice he does it twice and that's right there is a big a D lineman and he runs that guy over. So like I said the game is not perfect. So people y'all people y'all hear that this game is not perfect. Alright but I'm gonna let you look at the power up. See again watch how I power up See the yellow, the yellow loop line that flares. See the yellow right there. Once you see that yellow, you know you at full capacity on your power up. You can actually take your hand off the X or the or the A button, depending on what system you're playing on. And once you see that yellow line, uh, the uh, yellow ring, you can actually take your hand off the um, power up button, and it will stay powered up. It will stay locked in until you use it. As you see. Now when the other guys come up and hit me and I don't have my power and, and like charged up, they can bring me down easier. And I noticed that. So I'm, I said, well, let me try it on defense. I was doing some stuff on defense that I noticed like these guys are, are silvers. They don't get the same power up. They never power up all the way like how a gold powers up. You never get the, the ring around your guy. That yellow ring from what? Well, from what I have done, I don't get a yellow ring. The only thing I get is like my circle get full like that, but I have not got a yellow ring yet. So I'm gonna keep working on this and try and try to get a yellow ring. But from what I've done so far, as a silver, you do, you do not get a yellow ring. Now I don't understand why I missed that tackle. I feel like I should have still made that tackle, and maybe there's some things 2K needs to work on. Because I was powered up and I hit that guy square on and I I don't understand why I missed that tackle. And he wasn't powered up from what I could see. But I was just doing a lot of plays. Now I just you see the you see the little trail of 
dirt he's leaving behind a little stuff that's popping up look at that that's what I'm talking about people this is why we love this game this is why we prefer to play this game because of the gameplay on the field gameplay on the field interaction between players and the realism like they got all the little dirt that his cliques are kicking up and this was in in uh 07 well watch all the different celebrations you get from the from the guys you get that's one celebration that's another celebration that's one more that's there's three right so far that's four four different celebrations I think that's a repeat I think that's a repeat but that's five right there five different celebrations right there let's see what this guy over here is doing That's six different celebrations. Six different celebrations. And we didn't go through all the people. I need the people on the sideline. Even more celebrations. But you guys that are, um, I said, are struggling with your power up, man, learn how to power up and just go into practice mode. Go into practice mode. Learn how to power up. See the, the yellow ring. And I hit him with the power up. Boom. Spin move. A lot of times you will break a tackle. I mean, sometimes it's not 100%. But a lot of times, it's, I, I feel like it's like 80% you will break the tackle if you're powered up. That initial guy. See, right now I'm not powered up. Look, I didn't have the time to power up. The guy's already missed the block, and I try to spin on him, but it really doesn't affect him for real because I didn't have enough time to set it up. And like that's how it is in football for real. Like, if you see a guy, like, it's predetermined what you're going to do to him. Like, you kind of see, okay, oh, okay, I'm going to hit him in his left leg, or, or this guy, he's falling now, I can jump over him. Or It's like you need time to focus and, and think about what you're gonna do and so I think the power up is sometimes a little too long on this game but I understand what they're trying to do with it and yeah you see the pushing off of the arm right there they, they still haven't done that on man yet and I this this oh my god look at this I'm trying to power do I yeah I see the yellow you see the yellow I got my power up Now run through him. I can't power up on these second guys and they came and took me down. 